Hey, what's up guys? So now if you've had your tincture in the freezer for anywhere from 12 hours and it doesn't matter if you've had it in there for about 36 hours, uh, any amount of time will work. But as you can see, you got a nice green uh, color there. It's, uh, so you can tell it's been, it's been soaking up by the alcohol. So now all you're going to want to do, I usually use cheesecloth, but uh, I'm going to kind of cheat this time because usually I strain it with cheesecloth and then put it into a larger jar like this and uh, then at the end once I have both of my batches which I'll talk about in a bit uh, then I use a coffee filter and pour it through because this process can take quite a while but basically all you want to do is pour uh, all of your liquid and all of your herb into the coffee filter and then whatever's left over you're going to put it back into the jar and put it back into the freezer for another eight hours. And then also you just wanna make sure that you have about another four ounces of alcohol in the freezer. And then once that's in for eight hours, you're gonna do the whole process over again just to make sure everything's been taken out. And then you filter both batches into a coffee filter again. And then uh, part three of the video, we'll be showing you how to cook it down if you're using Everclear. Because I believe if it has water in it, uh, then uh, it'll be a bit different of a process. But yeah. I'll uh, go ahead and pour this through and then uh, show you guys what it looks like at the end. Alrighty, so it's all done uh, filtering now. So as you can tell, I got that nice green color to it. It's uh, looking really nice. A lot better than my last batch so far. And uh, so yeah, as I said, you just want to put all of your marijuana back into the jar and you're going to throw that alone in the freezer for about 8 hours to let it get nice and cold again. And then also about another 4 ounces of alcohol. And then you're just going to go ahead and shake that up. Well, once it's sitting in the freezer for 8 hours, you're going to add the alcohol back to the marijuana and then shake it and do the whole process again. And then you'll filter this stuff and then filter the whole batch again through a coffee filter. And then I'll have part 3 coming. And I'll also be doing a glycerin uh, video as well once I get some more information on that and how to do it the correct way. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any ideas on other videos to make right now that involve cooking and uh, oils and stuff like that, let me know and I'll uh, do my best to make them. And I'll also be giving some of this stuff away probably in a couple months, so stay tuned. Alright, thanks guys, have a good day.